Architectures is a weekly, but beyond that, it's a community of people from different portions of Toronto's kind of underground dance culture. I remember Hans was always talking about bringing people together, and it actually did that. Architectures always had an important place in my heart. What makes it special is is really the people and gathering all those people together in, in a space regularly. There's a solid backbone for the community and that's really important in keeping people in one place and keeping them on the same page. It was the smiling faces on the dance floor that always held like the stamp on why I would do it over and over again. And I would probably do it again next life. Being invited to be part of Architectures gave us um, like team building opportunity, uh, experience with different like-minded people. And so I think that gave us a lot of good grounds and helped mold 40 Hertz and the production that we throw. Giving me the opportunity to hone my skills as a DJ, as a VJ, as a host, as a friend. It's been a great opportunity to give opportunities to people. Have a wonderful place to connect with people every week. Good people, good times. There's something really lovely about kind of knowing where your people are, like a community center, a place to like gather and hang out with each other on a consistent basis, especially when you're in like part of a niche community or just like a, you know, you like staying up late and dancing. It's very difficult to build a community, but once you do and you take care of it and you nurture it, I think it has a profound meaning to it. And I think architecture has that going for itself, you know, and for years it has, thanks to Hans and all the people that have been contributing to architectures. You might have seen the next generation coming through too, right? Yeah. You see a lot of like parents, um, you know, with their kids out on Thursday nights and really helps to create a diverse community where people of uh, 50, 60, 70 years old um, can interact with people that are you know, 20, 30, 40 years old. And in a city like Toronto, it's a perfect place for somebody to walk in and not feel comfortable anywhere else except there. It's not a big ravey club culture. It's a church-like experience. That type of growth can even be related to a spiritual level, that if you're dancing like our ancestors were dancing and you're releasing things that no longer serve you and at the same time you're falling in love with not only the person beside you but you're also falling in love with the music at a profound level then you're being changed at a profound level. <laughs>